Hello everybody, I took a couple of days off, went to Barcelona recently. There's Barcelona from the air there now. Doesn't really look very impressive from the air. Anyway, here's a couple of videos and insights to uh, my experience there. It was a good time. These are the places we're meant to be seen through the eyes of this man. Two baby, three children. This is this is really, this, this is how we do it, isn't it, boys? It is how we do it. Roof and all. We decided it's much better than Metro, than taxi. And, 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 and the biking yourself. Yeah, and biking yourself. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's that guy. Casa Buenos. Why is it famous? Just because it's expensive. Or... Yeah, well, why, why is this special? But, but why is it special? This a five star? A oh, five star? Yeah. That's oh, a five star. Uh, it does not look like a five star. Let's four, uh, three. Uh, English is difficult. Uh, Two babies, three children. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Five. So I've never tried tapas before, so you grab one and it's like, oh, it's like bread, wow, it's not very tasty. And then it's like, I've never had a potato before, have I? I have a potato, regular potato. This thing's like a cheese ball, doesn't smell anything. It's fine, it's fine. You get a bit of bread here. You put it in hummus, which I believe is Greek or something. It's hummus Greek, it's not Spanish. Huh? You think it ain't What's this? I don't know what this is. We give it a go. <laughs> well, that's meat or something, isn't it? Oh, that smells weird. That smells like an armpit. That smells like an armpit. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. It's like it smells like an armpit. <laughs> that is armpit food. Anyway, first experience tapas. Simone, what did you think of the tapas? It was awful. Simone, what do you think of the uh, live entertainment? You do realize this drink is larger than your head. Like. You see what happened here is uh, Brendan found a very old phone box and he decided to pretend he was talking to someone on it but sure no one uses phone boxes anymore a good crack right this one is much more straightforward as to why it's hilarious it's uh called a dick waffle dick waffle sure does look tasty i'll tell you that much now wouldn't mind a dick waffle myself this here is the beautiful sacra de familia uh but lads look at this will you take down the christmas tree it's october you're either too early or mad late look barcelona it's football okay can we go watch a little bit let's do it cool Some good players. Come on, lads! Come on, you can do it! <laughs> they can do it. Get the ball to the back, push it up the front, do not do it! Push on the front! I don't even know where to go with this video. It's like, it's like some kind of weird, cryptic Orwellian dream. Like this is a bathroom. Hi, hi the world. Oh. Rain. Okay. This is a Finland guy. Finland. Do you allow mice? Do you allow me? Okay. I love, I love dogs. I have sled dogs and I love. Oh. Not into it. For some reason, Simone felt the need to jump over the gaps in the street where the trees were planted. Um, I had this one here and I was gas. L look, look what I've done, you see. It's a closed condom store and I'm showing my frustration and my dismay by, you know, pulling my pockets out, showing that I don't have condoms. There was no sex had on this trip anyway. And uh, then this, uh, this is just another gas one, classic. We're looking all mad buff and then it says buff above us, like a very Arnold Schwarzenegger posing. But if you look at it, this shop actually sells hats and scarves. Looks like we're still going here, lads. Well, that's just a, a smashing cathedral. They're all, all, always awesome. Oh, yeah, there's some lovely, delicious vegan food that I was having. That thing on the left is actually spare rib. Vegan spare rib. Look at the colours, lads. I mean, it was delicious. Um, all right, now back to videos.
After the flamenco show, I had to try out some of the dance moves myself. Uh, I think I, I pretty much got it down. Then it was great to get to swim in the Mediterranean. Of course, no one else was swimming. It's October for Spaniards. That might as well be January. And then um, there is me uh, out in a catamaran. Absolutely gorgeous day. I'm talking absolute rubbish and the audio isn't great. So it's like something I'm going to leave my life and, uh, and sail the seas. But like, I'm not going to do that, let's be honest. Simone doesn't take chances with the COVID. She's always got two masks on the go. A ah, fair play to her. She was a lovely companion to see at Barcelona. Uh, yeah? Can't sit there if you don't have arms. So guys, that was Barcelona. I fully recommend it. I gave it the five-star Brendan rating, uh, top city. I recommend uh, catching some flamenco, getting a bit of dancing on yourself. Maybe get on a sailboat, you know, travel to tapas. They're not great, but sure, look, it's the thing to do. When in Rome or Barcelona, 